takes uh, I'm <coughs> delighted to uh, have this opportunity, and I'm sure we all are, to witness the swearing in of our new Secretary of Labor, who succeeds a uh, most distinguished secretary, who uh, set an extremely high standard uh, for Mr. Wirth, a standard which uh, we know he will meet. The uh, responsibility which he assumes is extremely sensitive. Uh, he represents uh, the Labor Department, which is concerned with the interests of the working people of this country and concerned with the public interest. I think that uh, sometimes uh, we in Washington, dealing uh, with larger issues, uh, do not uh, become as aware as we should be that what we're really talking about are the working conditions of men and women working in factories across the United States, men and women whose uh, job security is vital to their survival, the kinds of work they do, the conditions under which they work, the adjustments which are made in their hours and in their working conditions by technological changes or by economic or monetary changes in the policy of the United States. All these uh, matters come to rest upon the Secretary of Labor. He also serves the public interest, which is affected by all the decisions that he makes in the labor management field. So that uh, we were most anxious to secure the services of the man uh, most capable of fulfilling this office, which is so, uh, must be so responsive to the needs of our people, and uh, therefore, uh, in our opinion, the office and the man met in the person of Mr. Wirtz. We're glad he accepts this uh, position. He accepts it with the wholehearted and warm support of the AFL-CIO, Mr. Meany and others who are here this morning. And uh, he also, I think, accepts it with the knowledge of his responsibility to the business community and to the public interest. So we're glad to have you here, Mr. Wirtz. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President.